is a template inspired by Carl Newport's latest book, A World Without Email. And it also includes some of Carl Newport's main focuses and principles, such as packets and task boards and weekly reviews. And so this is not meant to be a system, it's meant to be a template. And the difference between a template and a system is that the system is composed of multiple databases and it has a structure that nests everything and connects everything with each other. Whereas a template is rather static and not very much scalable. But the idea of this template is to build something based on Carl Newport's principles, because I think some of those principles lend themselves very well to being implemented in Notion particularly when it comes to the task board and buckets and weekly reflections and planning. And so I thought to put together this template because it might be of inspiration to you. Firstly, to discover more about the deep life and the writings of Carl Newport. And second, because you might get inspired by this template to build your own system or maybe to use some components from this template and implement them into your own system to live a more intentional life using Notion and setting up a streamlined system to tackle the new world without email. So let's jump right into the template, starting from the buckets. You can see that the buckets is the first database appearing on this landing page, and there are four key databases. One of them is a page, in fact, that's the weekly review and planning. And the deep life dashboard is a page as well. But when you open the buckets database, you have four buckets. And here you can read more about how Cal Newport defines these four buckets. So these buckets are fixed and each bucket will have multiple tasks related to it at any given time. Constitution, craft, community and contemplation. Those are the four main buckets for a deep life. And if we want to cultivate a deep life according to Cal Newport, we need to spread our efforts on these buckets quite equally and in a balanced manner at any given time because if we put too much of our efforts into one or two buckets only and neglect others, then we might suffer in terms of how we feel and how we think. So whenever you open a bucket, let's say constitution, for example, you will have the master task board embedding on the page where you can see all the tasks related to that bucket. In addition to that, on the card itself, you can see how many tasks you have to do today or get to do today based on the DO date that you're going to see later. There's the due date, so how many tasks are due today. And then there are also how many active tasks you have and how many completed tasks you have for any given bucket. And this is just a way of displaying numerical information. And you can quickly see from here, then when you look at your buckets, whether you are putting too much effort into something and neglecting something else. And that means that the scale must be balanced and you need to change something. The second master database is the task board and task boards are a key component of a world without email according to Carl Newport. So task boards together with clear processes can make work much more efficient and people much more clear minded in how we work, especially when it comes to collaborating. And so email becomes a communication tool as it is meant to be as opposed to a collaboration tool. Collaboration happens on task boards and on clear systems that are trackable and manageable in a centralized place, whereas email stays a communication tool only. And so this task board here is where all your tasks will leave. Whenever you have a task like this, for example, you will link it to a bucket. So one of the four buckets here. And then you will give it a status to do, doing, waiting to hear back or done. There is a DO date, which is the date on which you intend to perform that task. This is an important principle from Carl Newport because time blocking is something that is also part of an intentional existence and a world without email, if you wish. So establishing a DO date makes sure that you know exactly what's your intention in terms of tackling that task. And oftentimes the DO date might correspond with the due date, but other times you might want to work on a task before it's due. And so these two will be different so the due date, as a matter of fact, is a deadline of the task. And the priority can be high, medium or low, depending on how important and urgent the task is. But what drives the completion or execution of a task is primarily the DO date. And then you might look at the priority level. 
to see which task needs to be done first. And then you can drag tasks around. To create a new task, you just click on new here, or you click on new here. So whenever you see a new button, then you can create a new task. And you can see now, I create a new task by clicking on the blue button, and you can see that the task doesn't have any status. And it is right here on the no status column. I can just change the status to to do, and now it will appear here. If I wanna delete it, I can just do this. Next up in a world without email is weekly review and planning. This sets the intention for the week. So it looks at what went well, what didn't go well in the past week, and what you can do to make sure that your buckets are aligned and you are living a joyful and intentional and deep life. And so whenever you want to add a new weekly review and planning session, you click on this template button to generate a new page. You can change the icon if you want and maybe add a cover, why not? And then you go through the steps here. And this is a quite generic weekly review and planning process because, well, this is a template, so I need to be generic here. But of course, if you have a specific ritual or if you want to research more about weekly review and planning processes, then you can find out a lot of information and you can create the planning routine that works for you specifically, and that would be the best case scenario. But that would require some research and trial and error. So there are a couple of steps here, some yearly objectives, quarters objectives. You can review the, your time allocation of the past week in the calendar and what went well, what didn't go well. And you can answer these um, few prompts here to reflect on the past week. And then you can start planning for intentional success as it is written right here. So you can define your tasks for the next week and which tasks for which bucket from here. And those tasks will be automatically flowing into the master task board and into your dashboard, which we're going to see next, and which is the place where you will see all your tasks at any given time, categorized by DO date, due date, or priority level. And finally, you might have a conclusion checklist where you list what you want to do at the end of your weekly review and planning session. If you want to, for instance, go through your emails that you haven't responded, to in the past week or something like that, you can just create that checklist right here. And if you want to edit the template itself here, you can just click on the gear icon to configure the template, open the template page, and then from here, whatever change you make on this page will reflect whenever you create a new weekly review and planning session next. And finally, there is the deep life dashboard. And that's the dashboard where you can see all your buckets. You can see a task inbox where you can quickly capture because the key rationale behind a proper productivity system, so to speak, is capture, configure, control in Cal Newport's words. Capture is an important component of a task management system because when you can capture something quickly, in this case, when you can jot down whatever task might arise during your day quickly here in the inbox, you free up your mind and you can continue to focus on the work that you're doing and on progressing on important things instead of trying to hold that task in your mind. That's the purpose of the task inbox. Here you can quickly access your buckets and that's the same page that we saw earlier. And at the top of the page, you have a new focus table. And so a focus table looks like this and you can learn more about this Carl Newport's idea by reading this article. But basically, at any given time, maybe every quarter or every month, you might have a focus, what you want to amplify and what you want to reduce for any of your buckets. And so in this way, you have your amplifications and reductions directly embedded at the very top of your dashboard, where you will spend every day most of your time. And finally, here you have a couple of sections where you can see your tasks from the master task board in different views. Here you can see those tasks whose DO date or due date is today. And then you can see tasks in the craft bucket and so on for every single bucket. And that's pretty much it. A pretty simple system, few properties, few databases, but some very powerful concepts that you can deepen if you want by searching for Carl Newport reading his books and reading the articles that you have here. And why not also experimenting with this template and adapting it
to your own life, crafting a system that makes it possible for you to stay focused on what matters and reduce the noise on what doesn't. See you soon.